Welcome to this summer's COVID-friendly edition of Cook with a Redbird Chef. I first and foremost want to thank Illinois State University's Alumni Association for their participation and support for these events. And I look forward to bringing this super popular event back in person next year. My name's Claire and I'm a first year dietetic intern here at Illinois State. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make this perfect summer salad. This is a delicious Mediterranean inspired orzo pasta salad with fresh vegetables, artichoke hearts, and feta. It's vegetarian friendly and it's super easy to make. All the ingredients you'll need are a cup and a half of uncooked orzo pasta, two six ounce cans or one 12 ounce can of marinated artichoke hearts, one tomato, one cucumber, one red onion, one cup crumbled feta cheese, a two ounce can of Kalamata olives or whatever um, olives you prefer if you don't like Kalamata, a fourth cup fresh parsley, a tablespoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of dried oregano and a teaspoon of lemon pepper. We're gonna first start by bringing a large pot of salted water to a boil. Go ahead and then add one and a half cups of your orzo and let it cook for eight to 10 minutes, kind of depending on how you prefer your pasta. I personally like my pasta more al dente, so I'm going to go for eight minutes. While your pasta is cooking, you can prepare the rest of your ingredients. Go ahead and strain your artichoke hearts over a large bowl and make sure to keep that liquid and set it aside for later because we're going to use it. Okay, so next let's chop our tomato, cucumber, red onion, and fresh parsley. But first, make sure that your hands are washed and your hair is tied back. As you can see, I'm just removing all of the seeds and I'm dicing the tomato into small pieces. And then here I'm cutting off both ends of the cucumber and then down the middle to cut it into this half moon shape. Onions can be kind of tricky, but I start by cutting off the top and then down the center and make several lengthwise cuts without cutting through the root. And then horizontal ones that are perpendicular to the ones you just made. And then I'm slicing it through the top as you normally would. I am by no means a master of knife skills, but I just keep chopping the parsley until it's cut up into fine little pieces. Now that our pasta is done cooking, we can strain it and move on to our final steps. We're simply going to combine our pasta into a large bowl and add the artichoke hearts, the tomato, cucumber, onion, and parsley. On top of that, let's add one cup of feta, two ounces of drained Kalamata olives, or like I said, any olives of your choice, a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, a teaspoon of dried oregano, and a teaspoon of lemon pepper. And then give it a good stir, and we're just gonna let it chill in the fridge for about an hour or so. Right before serving, take some of that artichoke marinade we saved earlier and drizzle that on top of your salad. And feel free to add some more of your favorite spices. You could add garbanzo beans, um, or really any protein of your choice, like chicken, and that would really upgrade this dish. We now have our light and zesty pasta salad that you can enjoy all throughout the summer. Here is the nutrition info and I'll also include it in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and supporting this summer's Cook with a Redbird Chef. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and if you try it out at home, feel free to share and tag us on Instagram at Illinois State Alumni. And also be sure to follow ISU's alumni pages on social media to stay up to date on events like this in the future.